Good evening and Hi. welcome. Wait, wait, Jason. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Hurry up. Hurry up. Good up. evening. And yes. wait, wait. Don't, to the sports okay. bar on Top Sport with me, ah, JBR and Has anyone Gordon. seen Manchester United? <laughs> De Gea, Juan Bissaka, Shaw, Harry Maguire, Lindelof, Dallo, Casablanca. Can you hear me? Ericsson, Alanga, Anthony, Sabitza, Fred, Jaden Sancho, <laughs> Rashford, Martial, Van Gogh. The theatre of dreams! Norman Whiteside, can you hear me? Neil Webb, Remy Moses, Jasper Einstein, Clemenson, Eric Jemba Jemba, has anyone seen the Stone Roses? Oli Mers, Mick Hucknell, Howard Donald, Conor McGregor, Usain Bolt, Lovejoy, Pat Bees, Lancashire Hotpot, Ashley from Coronation Street, can you hear me? Manchester Town Theatre, Old Drama Centre, and Eric. Five hog! Can you hear me? Your voice took one hell of a beating! <laughs> Manchester United are out of the Europa League. A disaster for Ten Hag. Losing 3 0 tonight, 5 2 on aggregate. What went wrong? David De Gea, what are you doing? Oh, Manchester United, what are you doing? What are you doing? A disaster, Jace. Disaster. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I mean, normally I want to say, you know, what you've been up to today, it's been a beautiful day. I don't care no, about that. I don't no. care about you. Let's just get stuck straight into you it. You have been waiting for this moment, haven't you? Waiting to get into Manchester United, and it well, has come. Well, I, I have to say, th that's one of the worst performances I've seen by an English side abroad in a long time. In a long time, mate. They were an absolute disgrace tonight, all over the pitch. So, so they must have gone into this game knowing how difficult it was. And I know they've got injuries and suspensions, but I'm sorry, whatever you do, go out and have a fight. Go, you're going into battle away at a club that clearly find themselves into a tie they should have been out of with 10 minutes left at Old Trafford. They're still in the tie. That was gutless, spineless. That, that's, the United fans must be listening to this now, embarrassed of their side. So I can't think of a worse United performance away from home in any in any European competition that I can remember. Mm, where did it all go wrong, though? Right? What, did did Hen Haar get it wrong? Did uh, okay, the so, Haya messed up? Right. I mean, look, what, it, it's a bad night. So the middle of the park for me, I couldn't believe how often Sevilla would pass through the middle of the park. They clearly needed someone like a McTominay or a Fred in there. After about 15, 20 minutes, the game had a pattern, and that pattern was not going to change unless something changed. I can't believe he sat on his hands, Ten Hag. And why is he wait till half time? Why is he not? Why is he not been proactive? That game was, and they were lucky. It they were really been, yeah. lucky because yeah. because. But it could have been worse. It could have been worse, and they got lucky with the offside, yeah. right? Yeah. And at that point, you think you know what? Still in this, in a game they should be absolutely out of. And then, of course, the, you know, set piece, minute after half time, that that was probably the, the killer blow. But I think what this does, it, it illustrates quite perfectly, actually, how far United are away from where they really want to be. They've had a good season. Not by their own standard. Oh, I mean, They've had a on, decent I mean, season. I mean, they've won a trophy. They've got the, you know, the FA Cup semi-final come at the weekend. This is a bad night at the office for them. We know that. We get that. It's been a shocker. But let's not get away from the fact it has been a positive one. The season? Positive season. Yeah, it's They're been better. They're not a million better. miles away, Jase. Well, they are. Tonight, tonight showed actually how far they really are away. And what it is, it's the strength in depth. So you need a squad of players to go in. And if there are one or two injuries and one or two players that are out of form and maybe a suspension, you need to be able to recover from that. And that, that sh what, what this big show injuries, tonight... Chase. They've had bidding... Uh, no, you know, I'm not, I'm, no. Martin is out. Mm. Massive loss. Mm. Varane out. Mm. Massive loss. Bruno Fernandes suspended. Mm. Rashford yeah. just come back from Man United in, we're talking about, mate. Injury. Yeah, it's Man United. But I think, it's the spine of the team. Yeah, but what was, so what this illustrates is actually how how weak and, and vulnerable the squad is when you have one or two players. Casemiro, right? So the only part of the season when he came in, he showed how good he was. Any game that he's not in that side... They, he's missed a few, right, through suspension, the two centers off in the Premier League. You saw a different United. Well, tonight, now you're saying without Bruno. Now you're saying without Varane. That should not affect United. Four best players are out, Chase. The four best players didn't play. Well, if you take four City's four best players out, they still have a, have a yeah, squad. City are a beast. Well, they're talking about a completely they're, different outfit. Well, there you you're go. talking about well, a side who... Well, they, well, then you just said to me... What about not, Arsenal? Take well, Arsenal. You just said to me they're not a million miles away. Well, I think that just shows they are. Because City can... It's hard when your best players go missing. I'm, I know that. 
But you've got to have a squad of players. So what that tells me is the strength in depth, the Manchester City have, Man United don't. Liverpool's another great example, actually. You know, when like when they one or two of their players go missing. And when you're not everyone can be Manchester City. I know that. But there's but that's the aim, right? Isn't it? Is well, it the aim that... is to try and compete with them, of course, but Manchester United uh, are building. It's the first season under Ten Hag. It's the rebuild. And it's been a it's been all a great all I'm season hearing, so far. All I'm hearing This has been a bad night. All I'm hearing Yeah, no, no, not that, that don't undersell. This has not been a bad night. This has been a disaster. Tonight is a disaster. So whoever you put out there don't forget the talent. There's got to be something that they rolled over in their tummies tickled. They were an absolute disgrace tonight. I mean, like, they were. It was. They were. They were a disgrace. And David De Gea. What do you think of him? So again, that that shows. So Manchester United want to be up competing with the very best. David De Gea shot stopping. There aren't many better than him, but tonight showed why he needs to be replaced. With his feet. In fact, so Ten Hag wants to play this. So, th so the first goal comes from David De Gea a making ball. a poor decision into a player that's then got three players around him. He doesn't want that ball. So they set a trap, Sevilla. They set the trap and they fall into it. David De Gea is not the man, the goalkeeper, to play out from the back. It's, there's not enough weight on the ball, on the pass. Yeah. He doesn't really want it. Maguire, he's showing because he's like, I need to show... If you're showing to feet and you've got three players around you, you do the mess. There has to be space behind him and there's got to be players free. Yeah, David De Gea should know. He can see the he danger. Can, he can see what he can't. Yeah. So Maguire's coming to him. He's back to, his back decision. is... What's he going to do with that? It's a bad decision, but getting away from that, even still, the performance overall for Manchester United was nowhere near acceptable. No, it was miles right. off it. The midfield was lost. Jadon Sancho was poor. Martial offered nothing. Poor at the back. Poor all over the pitch. Second best. And you're right, it was gutless and spineless. It is a bit of a disaster for them. So, it, sorry, can I just, sorry, just on that. Sorry to cut in. But the, you mentioned there about their, their, their best players are missing. Yeah. That, that team that they've got out there. Yeah, go on. I mean, I'm looking through it. That is that is a hell of a team. Man, no, back four's not great, though, Jace, is it? Come on, let's well, be honest. Much, Lindelof okay. and Maguire, well, Darlow at left back. Well, Wemba's that cost 50 million. Yeah, Maguire well, cost... Well, well, all right, no, no. it doesn't matter how much he costs. He's well, not a great player, is he? But what I'm saying is, Casemiro, Ericsson. People have been um, waxing lyrical about Casemiro, Ericsson. I mean, you've got you've got Sancho up top on the left-hand side. I believe he's the most ex highly paid player at Man United. One of. No, I think he is. I think he's the number... I think he's the Don. Well, he doesn't. He's not showing it. That's for sure. Look, let's go to uh, the lines. Let's go to Ads. He's a Manchester United fan, All right, Ads? How are we doing, guys? Okay. How are you doing? Well, uh, <laughs> where could you start? I think um, what, everything what Jason said. Totally agree. I think. I think the scary thing for me is, you know, when when, when we're playing well, you know, we actually play well. But but when we're bad, it's we're not bad. We're just absolutely. Gutless, spineless. Yeah. That 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 performance for me was as bad as when we got beat by Liverpool. The only difference was the score line. Mm. And what do you make of David De Gea's performance tonight? I know he's had a bit of a nightmare. Is it time to now look beyond him? It is, yeah. And I think normally, you know, like with with players, normally what what how it normally works is they'll sign a contract and then then the player just con then the player just continues to play shocking. But I think that. The caveat for us here is that he, we haven't give, we, he hasn't signed a contract yet, so he, he had a shocker today. But like you said, he's a good shot stopper, but he can't like he can't do what Edison does, and uh, he can't play out. He just that that decision today. I, I understand, you know, Maguire wanted the ball, but he's a goalkeeper. He can see everything. So if that was his decision. He should all he had to do was kick it out, and I don't understand. He literally put Maguire. Under pressure, there were three players around him. Yeah. Do you know what adds that, um, that performance had shades of a Brentford away early part of the season? Actually, it was very similar the way that the team played. I, I, I'm guessing you can remember that game, how the whole 90 minutes went. Early yeah, part of the game, yeah. Brentford closing down, edge of the box, forcing those mistakes. In fact, some of those goals, <clears throat> first one in particular, was almost identical to, to one of the goals you conceded at Brentford. And it, it's even though it's been a pretty good season for. You, for United, not brilliant by your own standards, but United, you're absolutely right. United can throw in these games where they can be an, a zero out of ten. 
And tonight was that performance. Yeah, it really was. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.